Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. Uh, this video is all about the Vox VT40X again. Um, uh, you may have uh, seen this video where I added a speaker out uh, to the amp because the Vox VT range don't come with speaker outs um, or any line outs or anything like that. Uh, so this meant that I could... Uh, attach my Vintage 30 speaker to it, which is really great. Uh, very, very easy mod to do. But what this also enables you to do is to use a dummy load. No, not that kind of dummy load. This kind of dummy load. Freddy, stop mucking about. Serious, you know. And this is the exact one I am using. It's an 8 ohm uh, speaker dummy load. And basically how this works is inside that box there is uh, lots of tiny little wizards with wands and uh, they take the power that is generated from your guitar amp and convert that into a line out signal as well as soaking up all of that energy so that you don't blow your amp up. Oh sh**. What did I do? I know what you're thinking, uh, the Vox has a 5 ohm speaker in it, but that's fine. This is an 8 ohm load, um, and what this does is it um, replicates the speaker. So the speaker takes the energy from the amp and converts that into heat and into sound. And what this does is it does the same thing, except it's creating a, a line out sound. Um, inside there, it, it gathers the energy and disperses it with heat, if you like. That's basically it and the wizards. Anyway, so this, this is how this works here. So you come out of your speaker out on your amp uh, into here. You have the option of running a speaker as well if you want to. So you can actually have another speaker cable going, you know, connected to another speaker or to the amp speaker. Must use speaker cables. Very, very important. Do not use guitar cables here. Um, there's lots of reasons, but the wizards will be angry. Um, and then this creates your line out here. There's a level, so you can have it a little bit hotter, a little bit, you know, whatever. Um, so that's the line out, which then goes to your interface, and that's your 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 lovely signal for your uh, what's name for your DAW. And you've also got a headphones here as well, which has got a high and low level. It's a very very cool box. Uh, I paid about fifty quid for mine years ago. Um, not sure if he makes them anymore, but you can check it out here at ratvalvamps.com. He does lots of great guitar mods, amp mods, should I say. Uh, very cool. Think of a load box as the most basic form of attenuator, one that lowers your amp's output to line level. Also called dummy loads, such devices let you take that line out into a computer recording interface so you can capture and process your amp sound. Yeah, what she said. All right, so we're in uh, tone room. Uh, I'm coming out, obviously, my my brand new speaker output into my dummy load and into my interface, and we're going to be going into Reaper shortly. Uh, but this is just the tone room, as you'd hear it through OBS. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a, through a through a few of these uh, presets uh, to give you an idea of how it sounds. So this one's gravity, a bit of John Mayer. And obviously you can still adjust everything, uh, twiddle about if you want to, turn the volume up and down, all that stuff, no problem. Um, so let's go and hit something else. So we've got uh, Sweet Child of Mine. This might be loud. <laughs> Now you notice that it's a little bit scratchy. It's, it's, still, it's not terrible, but um, it's a little bit scratchy because we're not using a speaker and we're not using any kind of speaker emulation. Um, but we'll go into Reaper in a minute and I'll show you how I mixed the intro uh, guitar sound. Bit of Steve Ray. It's quite nice. Uh, the cleaner sounds are obviously a lot better. Satch Boogie. I 
and all that stuff. Uh, let's go to something else over here. Uh, love of God. <laughs> You know, not terrible. Uh, do one more. Let's do American Idiot here. Stick it on the humbucker. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So if you're interested, this is the uh, Harley Benton Black Paisley I'm using for this demonstration. It is modded. It has the original... Uh, the Roswell pickups in it, but it has a uh, Gilmore mod and it has Fender tuners and a two point Fender trem, uh, things like that. But uh, you can check out videos on this guitar here. Here. Hey, Freddie, what should they have done by now? That's right, they should have subscribed. Okay, so here we are back in Reaper, and this is the uh, piece of music I prepared for the beginning of this video. Uh, you've got the guitar at the top here, and the back and track at the bottom here. Back and track sounds like this. Which is very cool, and the guitar is I used just for this demonstration, is the Guns N' Roses preset, the Sweet Child of Mine one. Uh, this is how it sounded just from Tone Room, without any uh, alteration. Okay, so you could uh, use a speaker emulator software if you wanted to. Uh, that's completely down to you. I didn't for this. I just used some EQ. Now, when I try and uh, do a window capture on OBS to uh, show you the EQ settings, it doesn't show. Uh, so you'll just have to uh, uh, take my word for it. If anybody knows how to do that, let me know in the comments. It's a real pain in the ass. Anyway, so... Uh, imagine I'm opening up the effects. <laughs> so the first thing I did was EQ. So I stick some EQ on and I've scooped the tops off quite a bit. Boosted around about 1.5k and around about 200, between just over 200, about 220, and left the rest alone. And it sounds like this. So it's sounding a, a lot more realistic um, already. And then I added some delay. So it sounded like this. And a little bit of compression. Now, I've got to say, I didn't um, spend a whole lot of time on it. I spent probably about 20 minutes just fiddling around. Um, there's a lot more you could do. But this is just to demonstrate that you can get a pretty okay sound pretty pretty quickly. Um, obviously, there's lots you can do. Um, so let's have a listen to it without any, any tampering with the backing track. Sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> Okay, and then the same again uh, with the alterations I made. Oh, come on, play.
So there you go. So you can see that you can uh, get okay sound. It's not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. Um, it's no different to using any of my VSTs that I have, and I have quite a few. Um, so yeah. So, if you do have one of these amps and you've got some really great sounds that you've uh, programmed in and you're, you're just frustrated because you can't use them in your DAW, this is a way you can do it. Um, it wasn't that expensive. Putting the, uh, the speaker output in was really easy and really cheap. I suggest you check out the video on that. And these dummy load boxes you can buy relatively cheap as well. Harley Benton do one which acts as an attenuator and it does all this as well. Uh, for about 60 something pounds. Uh, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know if Rat's still making these ones, but you may be able to find them secondhand on the uh, eBay or whatever. And um, there is, you can build your own. They're, they're not complicated. There are There is schematics out there. If you're that way inclined, you could build one yourself uh, quite cheaply. Uh, anyway, so I hope this video was helpful and I hope it was entertaining. And I hope you feel a bit more joyous after it. Um, please do come and check us out on Discord. There's lots of interesting people in the community. Lots of stuff going on over there. Links in the description, of course. Check out my charity as well, Guitars for All, where we give uh, guitars away to people in need. And I do Twitch performances as well. Uh, I, I've been doing like one a week lately. Links in the description for my Twitch channel if you want to come and see a bit of that. I do a lot of acoustic stuff, looping electric guitar and um, the next stream may be a marathon I was thinking of doing like an 8 or 10 hour stream let's see how that goes anyway not much more not much more left to say except peace till next time cue the jingle One, two, three, four. if you like my youtube show hit like and comment and get involved if you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.